Previously on Mad EV. This is X Pen P7, Chinese first attempt to challenge the mighty Tesla Model 3. Well, at least X Pen claim it, because sadly, I'm not allowed to drive it today. Finally, it's my time to drive it. I'm Harris, you're watching Mad EV. As I said in the previous video, although the OP7 looks like a sporty sedan, its vehicle dynamic is not that excellent. And its suspensions are even softer than that of many four-wheel drive family sedans. In this new P7i on the other hand, comfort is still one of the main attributes, but it now has some sort of German style of handling. The road suppression, steering accuracy, and steering feedback are all very satisfactory at least on the site we will experience it. Of course, it will still give up when you drive it too radically, but at least the chassis engineers clearly know what its customer want more than meals. Because they just made the ET5 not sporty enough to be a sports car and not comfortable enough to be a family car. Speaking of ET5, the P7i also has an advantage that would put me to shame, the driving position. Compared to ET5's oddly high sitting position, the P7i is almost indistinguishable from a traditional ice sports sedan, thanks to x ultra-thin battery. In the current new energy era, when batteries are getting bigger and bigger, this is quite difficult to achieve, and was even better than the Model 3 performance I experienced at the same time. But then again, the extraordinary vehicle dynamic of the gold car like Tesla is really beyond P7i's reach. After a short but very exciting test drive, I do have to say that it is a nicer car to drive than my new ET5. And of course, much, much better than the previous one. But this is not what this video is all about. What I really want to talk about is Axpen's CNGP City Navigation Guided Pilot. Conclusion first, it's not the best ADAS in the world, but it's still surprisingly good. Let's start with the pros. For an intelligent EV with two LiDARs, 5mm wave radars, 12 ultrasonic radars, and 12 cameras, the hardware capability is unquestionable. As a result, the P7i can not only sense vehicles, pedestrians, and obstacles, but it's also able to recognize traffic lights, brake lights, turn signals, and all the signs we see on the roads. Interestingly, it can even recognize police officers wearing a high visible jacket at night. However, there's some minor issue. The information is not very well displayed due to the low frame rate. Lane changing is where most ADAs are struggling at, because most of the system is too afraid to change lanes autonomously in heavy traffic. However, this is exactly where the XNGP system shock us the most, as it can even accelerate to change lanes with a narrow gap between the car in front and the car besides. Even for me, who has been driving for 9 years, this aggressive maneuver still takes some guts. Compared with lane changing, the throttle and brake control is much more conservative. The acceleration and deceleration are gentle, it will slow down a bit when you encounter crosswalks, and the AI will even apologize to you after a sudden brake. <laughs> if my ET5 could do the same, then Nomi would have been very busy. Actually, during the hour-long experience, I expressed more than once that the CNGP was much better in certain scenarios than the NOP Plus function of my ET5, which can only be used on highway and elevator roads for now. But in fact, I still prefer to use mine. Not because I don't have an expert, but because we follow the drawbacks. Being too polite on the road usually means obstructing the car behind. Whenever I stop at the intersection or need to acceleration again, the slow response really makes me anxious. After being flashed and honked by the car behind many times, 
I decided to press the throttle myself just to make it go. When I tested the Huawei NC earlier, the most impressive thing was its directional control at intersections. Whether the smoothness of steering or the path of cornering, Huawei NC handled very well. But this CNGP is not. Whenever I encountered a left turn, I was having the strongest desire to take over, as it acted really weird. And here's another thing worth mentioning. Since this car does not have capacity HOD, you have to pull the steering wheel from time to time to tell the car that you still with it. Here's another comparison with Huawei NC8. In a total of nearly two hours, I only had to step on the brake once for emergency. But in the P7i, I was forced to slam on the brake only after a few kilometers of driving. And I honestly think it would have rear-ended that car if I hadn't taken over. So after that, the trust is broken. And when this happens, especially between a human and a machine, the experience would not be so well. Compared to the Huawei NC8, the XNGP from XPEM is a bit laggy. The former can act like a human driver with around 3 years of driving experience and only need occasional supervision. The latter, on the other hand, can only help you with some maneuvers and you still need to be more involved to make you drive like a real person. But then again, these were only caused by XPEM's algorithm. With powerful perception and computing capabilities, this P7i is very well equipped to bring us a better autonomous driving experience. I'm still excited about future upgrades for this excellent GP. Overall, the current XNGP ADAS still needs some improvement, but thinking about all the upgrades it has compared to the previous model, which is the exact one I'm driving now, there are indeed so many improvements. Actually, the generation change of the Tesla Model S was exactly like this. Where the exterior may not look like much has changed, but everything inside is absolutely brand new. And that is why the owner of this very P7 was very tempted to replace it with the new one. So at the end of the video, let me ask you guys a cliche question. Considering that the Model 3 facelift is on the way, if you could buy this Xpeng P7i in your city, would you choose this or the no-brainer Tesla? Let me know in the comment and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and share with your friend. After all, your support is what drives us to keep on. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.